Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Mega Charizard Evolutions Elite Trainer Box. I did get this box from Walmart for $39.98. It is one of the two Elite Trainer Boxes for the Evolution set. The other one, the Mega Blastoise Elite Trainer Box, I'll be opening up in the future on YouTube. So I'll flip this box around. And you can see what you get on the inside. Of course, I'll show everything that's on the inside. But you get 8 Evolutions Booster Packs, 65 card sleeves, 45 energy cards, an online TCG code card, and then a bunch of other items to play the TCG. So I'll open it up here. I'll take the plastic wrap off and just give you a little bit better view of the box without such a huge glare on it. I have opened all of the Elite Trainer boxes on YouTube outside of the two Evolutions ones, the brand new ones. Opened all the Elite Trainer boxes in there, brand new, and then did a playlist where I went through and reopened every single Elite Trainer box that had come out. So, we'll open it up here, and the way you go like so. And right on the inside here, if you want, you can take this apart. It has some artwork on the inside. Here is the player's guide. Looks like so. Evolutions, and on the inside gives you a checklist of all the cards. Here's a card I'm hoping to pull, that Charizard Hollow. So I'll set that aside. Okay, on the inside, looks like so. This box is actually pretty neatly organized. I'll pull everything out that's on the inside. Here are the energy cards. Good way to get energy for a deck you might be building, or you could always buy a theme deck, that type of thing. But here are the card sleeves. Now, a lot of people are fans of the Elite Trainer Box card sleeves. I actually have all of those sealed still. I think they'll be pretty collectible. Here are the eight Evolutions booster packs. And so far, I've had pretty good luck with Evolutions. So there are the eight. Just want to make sure there's eight there. Set those aside. Here are the card dividers if you'd like to put your cards back in the Elite Trainer box. I was going to say, and there is the back. So that same design that's on the sleeve. Here is the online TCG code card. And of course, I always give away code cards in, uh, on my blog as well as in all of my opening videos. Here are the damage counter dice. And then the burn and poison markers. Just like so. Now let's get on to the booster pack opening. Okay, so I'll just start right on top with this Mega Charizard Y. The Y evolution form is featured in this set. Of course, I prefer the X evolution, but Charizard is my favorite Pokemon of all time. So code card here. The trick with these, if you're not aware, is you just flip it around. This is the code card for either hollow or ultra rare. So if you're opening packs like that, and maybe you want to sort of trick your, your friends or whatnot when you're opening up, just take a look at that, and you're pretty much guaranteed either an ultra rare or a hollow in this pack. So first card here is a Nidoran male. There's a Vulpix. Sandshrew. Ponyta. Next is a Magnemite. There's a Machoke. Super Potion Trainer, Charizard Spirit Link, Re oh, Reverse Hollow of a Raichu. This card is normally a rare hollow, so a good way to start this Elite Trainer box opening off. And then the actual rare in the pack, oh, is a Blastoise EX. Like I said, knew it would be an ultra rare or a rare hollow, and an excellent start to this Elite Trainer box opening with a rare Reverse Hollow and then a. EX card. So next pack here has Raichu on it. Of course this is a base set reprint set. Celebrating the 20th anniversary of Pokemon out here for example is what the card looks like. If you're not going to get a hollow or an ultra rare but you still can get break cards in these packs and it's pretty easy to get the rare reverse hollows like I pulled the last pack so there's always a chance for something great in each pack. So this pack here starts off with a Ghastly. There is a Sandshrew, Weedle, Tangela, Ponyta, Pidgeot Spirit Link, Switch Trainer, Machoke, Growlithe is the Reverse Solo, just a common card, and the rare in this pack is an Arcanine, so we'll go basic to stage one. And if you're familiar with base set, Arcanine was originally an uncommon card. 
I believe in Legendary Collection, which was a mixture of the several first sets together. Arcanine was moved to a rare for the rarity. Okay, this pack starts off with a Drowsy. There is a Magikarp, the always powerful Magikarp. Electabuzz, so familiar with the Platinum reprint one, that's hollow. There's a Rattata, Growlithe, Kakuna, Potion Trainer, Venusaur Spirit Link, there is a Reverse Hollow of a Metapod, Uncommon Rarity there, and then the rare in this pack, oh, is a Mega Blastoise EX Full Art. So pull the Blastoise EX earlier, now this Mega Blastoise EX Full Art. Like I said, I just love that gold border on all the Ultra Rares in this set. Really adds a a little extra to the card. Almost reminds me of the Secret Rares from the first few XY series sets like the Flash Fire and Furious Fist set. So a great Elite Trainer box so far. See what happens in this pack. So first card here is a Grass type Energy. There's a Rattata. Vulpix, Electabuzz, Magikarp, Haunter, Energy Retrieval, Kakuna, Reverse Hollow, O of a Machoke, Uncommon Rarity there, and then the rare in this pack is an Electrode, and this is one of my favorite rare non hollow cards from the set. Seems like I pulled Beedrill in the rare non hollow spot quite a bit either Beedrill or Starmie. So we'll see if that is true with the remaining packs here. Still three more to go after this one. First card here is a Voltorb. There is a Charmander. Diglett. Ghastly. Caterpie. Full Heal Trainer. Porygon. Always been a fan of this card. I just like the artwork on the card. Real simple. There is a Pokedex Trainer, Reverse Holo of a Darkness type energy. Common rarity here, but I, I really like the Holo Foil energy cards. And then the actual rare in the pack is Beedrill. Just like I was saying, I always seem to get Beedrill in that rare non holo spot. And what do you know? Pulled it the pack after I actually said that that's what happens all the time. So, right you pack now. It's been a couple of packs now since we pulled anything too great, but still can't complain pulling two Ultra Rares out of only eight packs. So, first card here is a Machop. There's a Growlithe. Onyx. Nidoran. Poliwag. Nidorino. Slowbro Spirit Link. Pokedex Trainer. Reverse Hollow of, oh, another rare Reverse Hollow that's normally a Hollow card in Hitmonchan. And then the rare in the pack is a Farfetch'd. This is another one that originally wasn't an uncommon. Or originally wasn't a rare, it was an uncommon. Mega Blastoise pack now. I'd really like to pull just one Hollow card out of here. Big fan of the Hollows, just because that's when base set was out, that's what was the cards to get. So this pack starts off with a Weedle. There's a Machop. Tangla. Vulpix. Energy, which is a fire type. Blastoise Spirit Link. Work well with the two Ultra Rares I put, pulled so far. Pidgeot Spirit Link. Poliwhirl. Reverse Hollow of a Magikarp. Common rarity there. And the rare in this pack. Oh, another ultra rare. I can see that little bit of gold there. Could be Venusaur. Little grass on there, it looks like. And indeed it is a Venusaur EX. So three ultra rare pulls out of seven packs. And I still have one more pack to open up here with Mega Venusaur on the cover artwork. But an amazing Elite Trainer box overall. Still have that Mega Blastoise Elite Trainer box to open up. So hopefully I get great pulls out of there as well. So final pack here. Starts off with a Diglett. Next up, Drowsy. There's a Caterpie. Doduo. Pikachu. 
Misty's Determination, one of the two full art trainers you can get in this set. There's a Porygon, Devolution Spray, Reverse Hollow of an Onyx, and that is a common rarity. And the final card here in this Mega Charizard Y Elite Trainer Box opening, a Gyarados Hollow. So an amazing way to end this opening with a Hollow Pull. So there you have it, I can summarize my pulls now. So in total, out of eight packs, pulled one holo card in this Gyarados, pulled two rare reverse hollows, and normally these are both holo cards in the set in Hitmonchan, and then this Raichu, like so. Then pulled out two regular EX cards in Venusaur and Blastoise. So here is the Venusaur, and then the Blastoise, and then the best pull of this box is the Mega Blastoise EX Full Art. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.